Maayong bunta. Good morning, my friends. Alden here, and welcome back to a new episode here on Now in PH. We are in a special family trip today because birthday ni Mama, and we're gonna explore one of the most beautiful islands in Cebu, and that is Bantayan Island. Plus, we're also gonna check out some of the newest attractions in mainland Cebu. Sama kayo sa akin? Let's go! check it's 6 45 we're just about 15 minutes delayed which is a good thing we just left the port of palompon leyte and we're heading now to pogo city cebu it's about a two hour ferry ride and when we reach pogo we'll drive about 30 minutes going to the port of hagnaya and from hagnaya port it's another one hour ferry ride before we reach bantayan when we reach the port of Bogo City Cebu, so barang lakas na ulan guys, it was really pouring. And I had a silent prayer na sana naman Lord, walang ulan sa bantayan. Yung biyahe namin from Bogo to the port of Hagnaya is just 15 minutes. And yung maganda, yung interval ng trips to Bantayan Island sa ferry is just one hour. We have finally reached the port of Hagnaya here in the town of San Remigio, Cebu. Fortunately, nakaabot kami sa 9.30 a.m. trip. We're gonna take another ferry and it's about one hour going to Bantayan Island. Yung passage rate per passenger is 300 pesos and yung pickup namin, the pickup behind me is 2,100 pesos. And finally, when we reach the port of Santa Fe, tumigil yung ulan. Upon our arrival at the port of Santa Fe, we headed westward to the historic town of Bantayan. And we are finally here in Bantayan Island. It's about a short 15-minute ride from the town of Santa Fe. Nandito tayo ngayon sa kanilang plaza. And in front of me is the oldest parish in Visayas and Mindanao, which is the St. Peter and Paul Parish. I really have this fascination in visiting old churches every time I visit a new place. And the parish in Bantayan is the very first parish established in the province of Cebu. It was founded by Augustinian missionaries on June 11, 1580. All right, we are here at MJ Square here in Bantayan Island. MJ Square is like uh, a strip. Uh, this is the hub of music, entertainment, um, what else? Food, and siempre souvenirs. As you can see, there souvenirs dito. And on the opposite side, mga restaurants naman. And what else? My shake stall. And dito kami mag la lunch sa Tinder Point. Dyan sila mama, papa, and si Kim. Nag-order kami ng bilao at may isang napakalaking serving ng rice. Fried chicken, Shanghai, scallops, fish, fresh watermelon, and syempre, tinolang lapu-lapu. Gutom na ako eh, so wala ng video habang kumakain. <laughs> Shortly after our lunch, dumiretso agad kami sa aming resort where we'll stay overnight. And this is the Ogtong Cave Resort by the Santa Fe Beach Club. When it comes to accommodation, no worries guys. There's a lot of affordable hotels, hostels, and resorts dito sa Bantayan. We chose Ogtong Cave Resort kasi I found a good deal. It's a room good for five and it's only 4,800 pesos per night. And syempre, may access na kami sa kanilang private swimming pool. Let's explore the resort. Ogtong Cave Resort. I'm kind of surprised because I did not expect na malawak pala dito. And as you can see behind me, there are there are many villas. Gaganda. And we have a direct access to the beach. Check it out. After a quick shower, we'll head now to the other sightseeing destinations or spots. Dito sa Bantayan. Let's go!
Genesila. After a short 10 minute drive, we are here in Omageka Obo Mangrove Eco Park. And the entrance fee is 65 pesos for adults, for children, 20 pesos. So this is the registration area. And over there, ito yung dadaanan papasok. As far as I can remember, this is one way. Ito yung exit and sa kabila naman is, I mean, ito yung entrance and the other side is the exit. And we're here. Lakad-lakad tayo sa kanilang um, bamboo pathway. Bamboo bridge. Nang patawag nito. <laughs> There's a restaurant over there. Magekas restaurant. Behind me is the famous Camp Sawi sign um, derived from the movie Camp Sawi. That's pretty much it. Maganda mag photo ops dito. And so far, maswerte kami kasi walang tao. Behind me is a uh, species of mangroves called bakau. Siyempre, may nakita akong sign. <laughs> so that's bakau. May cottages dito selling different kinds of stuff. Snack items. You can have a quick rest stop in here. Init. <laughs> but somehow, um, maswerte tayo ngayon kasi it's not super crowded unlike the first time when I was here. And that was one year ago. Kasama ng mga friends ko. So sila mama, the rest of the family first time na dito. Although it's my second time, maganda pa dito. You will really appreciate the mangroves. Sobrang ganda. And it's very lush. And ganda ng view. And that's the Kampogi sign. Um, ito yung pinakadulo sa, sa Magrove Park. And iiko tayo dun. Pabalik na dun sa entrance. And we are about to enter the Mangrove Tunnel. Ganda. 65 pesos entrance fee. It's worth it. Ganda dito. This is a place where you can really connect with nature. And we are almost near the exit. Ganda. And yun yung exit. And we're back at the exit. <laughs> Convenient dito kasi may mga stores selling different refreshments, snack items, over there, souvenirs. But for now, balik tayo sa pickup because we're head we are heading to Madridejos. And we are about to enter the welcome arch in Madridejos town. And this highway is covered with trees. All right, after a 21 minute drive, uh, it's about 21 kilometers uh, north of Santa Fe. We have reached the town of Madridejos and we are here in their most popular landmark. It's Cota, Fort Cota. Let's check it out. So, this is it. Maganda mag picnic dito. There's a seating area over there. Check out that route. Interesting. And when you walk further, you will uh, reach this super cute beach area. Ganda dito. Ganda ng vibes. Ito yung kanilang beach area. Um, maraming locals dito. Chilling out. And I think yung iba naliligo. And the most interesting feature sa kanilang beach area is their boardwalk. Which is a lovely place to have your morning or afternoon stroll. Alright, we are finally here at Kota Beach. This is one of the most popular beaches dito sa Bantayan Island. Diyan kami mag dinner mamaya. Nice. We will have barbecue, seafood. Uh, it's gonna be grilled over there. Um, this is a private resort. And the sandbar stretches all the way up to there. It was a gloomy day, so hindi napakita yung fiery red sunset ng Bantayan, but it's okay. The most important part is kasama ko family ko, and we had a lovely dinner together by the beach. The restaurant at Kota Beach is affordable naman, hindi siya mahal. Generally, sa Bantayan Island, hindi overpriced yung mga pagkain dito. And there are lots of options around the town of Santa Fe for food trip alone.
Alright guys, this is Octong Cave, one of the must visits here in Bantayan Island. Maswerte tayo ngayon kasi it's still 8 o'clock in the morning which is the opening time. Uh, this cave opens from 8am to 5pm. Let's go! If you're thinking that Bantayan is just about the white beaches and cheap street food, well, dyan ka nagkakamali. There's Octong Cave. We're lucky because our resort owns the cave so we've got free access. Octong has a subterranean river where you can have a refreshing dip. The cave opens from 8 to 5. Alright, busog na. We'll head back to the mainland. Papunta kami sa Cebu City and we're also gonna check out some of the newest attractions in Cebu. So, mocha check out na kami. Siyempre, pag Pinoy, hindi pwedeng umuwi pag walang dalang pasalubong. When you're in Bantayan, there's only one pasalubong that you shouldn't miss. Look no further than their famous dangit, buwad, or in English, dried fish. Trust me, it's the best. There's still a lot of places to check out in Bantayan. We have Virgin Island and Balidbid Lagoon. Kaso si Mama is not really a fan of beaches. So wala kami magagawa. Buti na lang nakapunta na ako dun last year. So we're heading back to the mainland. Alright guys, nasa barko na tayo. We are aboard the ferry going back to mainland Cebu. And we are here in their sun deck. Sarap mag chill chill dito. Unfortunately, medyo maaraw pa. It's very sunny today. So behind me is Bantayan Island. Uh, the ferry ride is just ano, isang oras lang. Almost here in Mainland Cebu, this is the port of San Remigio. So it's 11.30 in the morning, almost lunchtime. Kain muna tayo. Before we head back to Cebu, uh, quick lunch muna dito sa San Remigio. We are in a restaurant called Mar Azul. Check it out. Right, pasok tayo, and they also have a nice view of the beach. And my heart dito for photo op. Pero ang lungkot ng heart na nangyari dyan. <laughs> Parang tabi niyo. Nag-order kami ng fried vegetable lumpia, lechon kawali, chop suey, and pochero. From San Remigio, which is located in the northern part of Cebu, we traveled southward on the west coast of the province para makaavoid ng traffic. After a 2.5 hour drive, we are here at Boacan ni Alejandra located in the Transcentral Highway here in Balamban. Uh, gustong gusto pumunta ni Mama dito. This is one of her bucket list here in Cebu. Approximately mga 30 minutes na lang siguro before Cebu City. And this is it. Ganda dito. Um, these flowers will definitely survive here kasi maganda yung climate. It's cool. Uh, the entrance fee for adults is 100 pesos each. Nestled in the mountainous area of Balamban Town in Cebu lies a stunning garden paradise that is sure to take your breath away. Buacan Alejandra is known for its dazzling display of flowers. From colorful mayanas to vibrant daisies, each bed of flowers is absolutely a sight to behold. Alright, pasok tayo sa kanilang uh, bridge. It's a footbridge and you will have a 180 degree view of the garden so sobrang ganda dito guys coordinated yung mga colors and flowers and this is a rainbow footbridge right across is their restaurant and merong signage dun wow alejandra uh, nagtanong ako kanina kung sino si alejandra and well obviously she's the owner dito sa 
garden Punta tayo dun sa baba Ganda dito Although Like I said in my previous video I'm not really a plantito But once you're here You will really appreciate this place oh, Tingnan nyo Pink na saging Alright, kung nagugutom kayo uh, They have a restaurant over here And it also has A panoramic view Of the area Alright guys, after a 30 minute drive, we are finally here in Cebu City. Nandito tayo in one of their best restaurants with a great view of Cebu City. This is the top of Cebu. Take a look. This is their famous view deck um, which has a panoramic view of Cebu City. It's still closed but we were given access. So this is it, and this is Cebu City. The top of Cebu restaurant is located in Barangay Busay, a highland area 12 kilometers from the city center. This top-rated restaurant offers classic Filipino dishes with a modern twist. You can enjoy dining top-quality Filipino cuisine overlooking Metro Cebu's vibrant skyline. We sampled some of their best-selling dishes including the famous Pansit Cebu, Shrimp Gambas, Bisaya Chicken Adobo, Mango Kani Salad, and Beef Salpicao. Well, there's a lot of restaurants dito sa Cebu City but this is one of the reasons why you should visit here. It's the view alone. Alright, papasok na tayo. We're inside the compound. Since I was a kid, it has always been our family tradition to visit the Basilica Minore del Santo Niño once we are in Cebu City. The Basilica is home of the original and the oldest religious relic in the Philippines in honor of the Holy Child Jesus, the Santo Niño de Cebu. Actually, the Basilica Del Santo Niño is just a few steps away from the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. Nandiyan sa likod ko yung basilica and the cathedral is just over there. As you can see, there's the belfry of the church. Siyempre, before we head to the cathedral, dadaan muna tayo sa Cebu La Fortuna Bakery. Ito yung favorite namin lahat. Sikat dito yung kanilang hopia. Right, ito yung mga sikat na hopia dito sa Cebu. Hobe bar. Uh, ito yung favorite ko, monggo. So if you're thinking kung anong dadaling pasalubong from Cebu City, this is the place to be. I think this is one of the oldest bakeries, homegrown bakeries here in Cebu. Um, yung main branch, we are here the main branch which is located at um, Borromeo Street. Alright, after this, we'll head straight to the cathedral which is located at the back mismo ng bakery. Ganda na weather ngayon kasi hindi masyadong mainit. Hindi din maulan. Makulimlim. Hopefully it won't rain. Kasi marami pa kami pupuntahan mamaya. That's the cathedral. The Cebu Cathedral, officially known as the Metropolitan Cathedral and Parish of Saint Vitalis and the Immaculate Conception, is the seat of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Cebu. It was established as a diocese on August 14, 1595. After this, uh, I'm not so sure where we're going. We're going to go to Metro. We're going to go to SM Ata, SM Seaside. Well, I'll, we'll figure it out once we're in the Sakina. After our visit to the cathedral, we just went to SM Seaside, had lunch, and went to cinema. Well, that's pretty much it. Of course, there's still so much to see in Cebu, but this is all for now. Hope to see you on our next episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you on our next trip. Cheers! <laughs>